Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is a summer haul for you all. This is my second summer haul that I'm bringing on my channel. The first summer haul was last year and it is my second or third highest viewed video on my channel. All of the pieces that I'm gonna be sharing with you all are coming from two black owned businesses that I've done a haul on before. That's Jay Brooks Boutique. Chloe Ray and I'm also going to be sharing with you all some pieces that I got from the Tabitha Brown collection. So if you want to see the beautiful dresses and the beautiful pieces that I got for the summer season for the summer haul, stay tuned. <music> the first dresses that I'm going to share with you all are the dresses that I purchased from Chloe Ray and the first dress that I'm showing you all is this cream colored black uh, polka dotted dress and when I saw this online I just fell in love with the dress it's just beautiful and I don't have a polka dotted dress in my uh, dress collection right now so this is definitely something new for me and it's something that I just felt like needed to be in with my wardrobe and I'm so glad that I purchased this dress so let's go into detail and see a little bit more about this dress um, so it has a drawstring here in the waist which I was a little disappointed about that because I was already getting into my mind some different colored belts I could wear for this dress I probably could still pair a belt with it but it would definitely be a little harder because it has a drawstring here um in the waist that you could probably cinch in and make it tighter or lower so if you wanted to and then on the uh, on the sleeve it also has drawstring as well i could have sworn that the model had this dress with the shoulder coming off i don't know if it was something i thought i seen but anyway i will link up on the screen the picture of the actual dress but I could have sworn that her um, that one of the shoulders were down but I was trying to make the shoulder to go down and it wasn't working um so I don't know if I have to loosen up the straps in order to get that to happen I'm not sure I'm not even sure if it's something I saw maybe I saw it on another dress I'm not for sure but anyway it does not go off my shoulder which is fine I just thought it would be a little bit more you know cuter and a little bit more unique if it was on off the shoulder but anyway I do like the little drawstrings on the sleeves I think it just brings it all together with this cinched waist with the string on the on the waist as well um, this is a midi dress so it does go, touch my calf area which is great uh, the material is um, uh, I can't really describe the material it's not linen but it's I don't know um, I don't have a dress with this type of fabric um, but I know that this type of fabric is great for summer because it's very flowy it's very breezy it's not a heavy fabric so I do know that I just can't seem to put my finger on what the name of this fabric is but Overall, I think this is a very beautiful dress. I was a little bit leery when I first put it on because I thought this top part was going to make me look like a potato sack or whatever or make this look a little top heavy, but it does not. I think it does a very good job with kind of minimizing this top area and with this cinched waist, it definitely just draws everything together. So overall, I think that this dress is absolutely beautiful I can pair this with a pair of colored heels to really make this outfit pop I just see a lot of things I can do with this outfit and this dress so yes this is dress number one from Chloe Ray so the second dress from Chloe Ray is a tank top dress it is a blue and white striped dress again it is a little longer on me than a mini dress it actually comes to my ankles and it has a little split in the side of it which I didn't know um, when I saw this online but this split in it actually gives it a little something extra a little something cute and it has pockets which is always great when you are wearing any type of dress to have pockets in it so that was absolutely wonderful when I was able to put my hands in pockets in a dress but anyway I'm glad that I got a large I got a medium in the polka dotted dress because of the way it looked I felt like a large would be too big but um, for this particular dress because of the way the neckline is made it's a square neckline and just the, the, the way the dress looked, I knew a medium was going to be too small for me. So I'm glad that I got a large because it fit perfectly. It does come with the belt. And if you've watched my channel, you know how I hate a belt that comes with a dress. 
but this belt actually works it does not separate me in odd places which is the reason why I hate belts that come with different types of dresses because a lot of times it separates me in weird places and it just is just very very ugly but this dress is actually one that I will wear the belt with it but I can also mix and match and wear some different belts with this as well just to give it a new look but overall I love this dress it is comfortable the fabric is kind of a stretchy type of fabric and I just love the way it feels it's very comfortable it fits me so beautifully um, and I can just see myself just wearing this everywhere this is going to be one of my favorite dresses I can already tell um, so this is dress number two from Chloe Ray another another great dress from Chloe Ray I'm definitely becoming a customer there because right now she is three to three she has not failed me yet so this is dress number two from Chloe Ray the next pieces that I'm going to be sharing with you all are from Jay Brooks Boutique and the first piece that I'm showing you all is a wrap shirt and um, I saw this online and I just loved everything about this shirt the only thing was they didn't have a large and I saw I said to myself you know what I'm going to see if I'm going to be able to wear medium I think I could have got a large I think it would have it would have fit better I uh, I'm not for sure again this is a wrap shirt so a wrap shirt of course you have to wrap it around in order for you to get it on um, so there's a hole here that you can put the strap through and then um, it's a pretty long strap so I had to actually tie it double to make it come back to the front and tie it again and then of course the front kind of lays out and then it has these pretty little ruffles on the sleeves of course because of the way that it wraps it is a peplum um fit so you have the peplum going on if you love peplum shirts which i love peplum shirts they always look good on uh big chested women like me when you have kind of the flare out of the bottom it kind of balances the top and the bottom half so i love peplum shirts um so that's another reason why i purchased this shirt so jay brooks has done it again um, I love this shirt it fits great again this is a size medium um, and um, I might have gotten away with the size large I think a size large would actually probably would have fit a lot better but this is okay as well so this is the first piece from J Brooks boutique so this is the second piece that I got from J Brooks boutique it is this beautiful pink dress it is a layered dress so it is layered the skirts are in layers and this dress also has pockets in it which again I absolutely love in a dress it also has a cutout in the back in the very lower half of the back which is so beautiful and not like anything I have in my closet I was a little scared to get it but the reason why I really got it and why I was afraid to get it I was afraid at first until I kind of saw what it looked like is because I'm still able to wear a bra with it a lot of times when you have cutouts um, I'm, I'm not able to wear a bra and I have to wear a bra of course because my chest is pretty big um, and so I'm still able to wear a bra with this even though it has a cutout in the back of it now the one thing I will say I think that I should have gotten this in a size large even though it fits but if you see up here it's kind of bunching up here in this area and it's a little tight around the arm area so even though it's not so tight that I can't move my arms around like it's not that tight um, I could definitely use a little bit more room so um, it's a little snug um, not so snug that it's uncomfortable but snug enough that I know that I should have gotten a, a Sarge large and that probably would have let this lay a little better because right now um, my boob area is kind of tight fitting and so that's making this kind of bunch up a bit so I have to kind of pull this up let me back up a little bit I have to pull this up a little bit so that it doesn't look awkward or it doesn't look out of place so I definitely would need a large just for the top half the bottom half is fine it's just that I need a little bit more room in this area but other than that this dress is very beautiful and I'm still able to wear it even though I should have gotten a large again like I said it's not that snug that I'm uncomfortable so um wearing it to school 
I definitely would have to wear a little sweater. I don't think I can go to school with my back out like this. Um, I might can kind of push it up a little bit, but no, probably not, definitely not. So anyway, I would have to wear a sweater or something with this. I could still wear it to school, but I'd have to, of course, wear a jacket of some sort to cover the cutout. But this is definitely going to be a summer dress that I'm going to be wearing because it's pretty, it's beautiful, and it's airy, and it's got pockets, I mean, J Brooks Boutique. Yeah, they did it again. <laughs> the third piece from J Brooks Boutique is something that I definitely took a risk with because I don't have anything like this in my closet. It is this brown jumpsuit. And um, I don't really know why I bought this jumpsuit. I just thought it was cute. I really did. I just, I just like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it. I'm just gonna buy the jumpsuit and um yeah so that's what I end up buying all right so it is a tank top jumpsuit and it, it sort of has like a smock material up on top of this uh this jumpsuit but what really makes this jumpsuit stand out is the back of this jumpsuit it has a ties it ties in the back crisscrosses in the back sort of like a corset uh type of ties in the back which is not a good thing for me because of course it's going to show my bra so i will definitely still have to wear a bra with this like i don't even see how i'm not going to be able to wear a bra with this um i have on a beige bra and it doesn't look too bad i probably can purchase a brown one it probably will look even better and it won't look so obvious that i have a bra underneath this um, but i'm definitely gonna have to have a bra on the one thing that i don't like about this jumpsuit is the ties in the back it was very difficult for me to get in it um and i had to untie everything and then i had to have my daughter tied up which took some time so i mean i don't see how this would work if you live by yourself like how are you supposed to tie this there's no other way to get in this jumpsuit so i was trying to find maybe if there was a zipper somewhere that i missed you know if there was a zipper that i could step into where the ties could stay together and i would be able to still tie it but there is no zipper on this jumpsuit. Like you can see me feeling right now to see if maybe I missed something and I didn't. So there's no zipper to, um, to be able to get in it so that you won't have to untie all this because I tried to get into it without taking all of those ties out and I couldn't do it. Like I still could not get this part over, over my hips. So I was able to get it on halfway, but then I wasn't able to get it over my hips in order to get it, of course, up to my shoulder. So I had to have help to, un I had to untie all the back and then I had to have my daughter retie it, which took some time. And then I'm gonna have to do that process all over again. So I don't like that because that's a little bit too much time for me to be putting on something. But apart from that, it's cute. It's just that those ties in the back is yeah it's definitely hindrance if you live by yourself and you don't have anybody to tie it um but or uh, overall it's still cute it fits great um i like the the flareness of the um the legs of this jumpsuit um so yeah i can still wear it i think i mean i still can wear it i don't think my husband will have a fit um, for the back if I have a bra on or whatever, I don't think it'll be a big of a deal. And like I said, if I get a brown bra, I don't think it would be that uh, ugly. I think it would I think it would work. I really do. Okay. <laughs> so this is the third piece that I got from J Brooks Boutique. That's all the ones that I got from J Brooks Boutique. And now I'm going to show you the pieces that I got from the Tabitha Brown collection. Um, so the pieces that I'm gonna be sharing with you now are all the pieces from the Tabitha Brown collection. And the first dress that I'm showing you all is this short dress from the Tabitha Brown collection. It looks like it's um, it has a leaf pattern. So it looks like leaves cover this dress. Um, the back of the dress is actually smock material. So on the top half of the dress is smock, but everywhere else is just the same type of material. Now, when I first tried this, uh, tried this dress on, the arms were a little um, loose here. Um, but it's not so loose that I can't see myself wearing it like this, but I actually like to wear it kind of off my shoulders a little bit. So I like that better. So I will probably wear it like that, uh, like this. 
Um, so as far as the dress goes, it's, it's a pretty dress. It's a pretty summery dress, great for summer. Um, I love the pattern on it. If you've seen the collection, a lot of the patterns are kind of loud patterns. So if you're not into loud patterns, and of course the Tabitha Brown collection is not for you because a lot of her pieces or all the pieces actually are pattern pieces. So she has a lot of different types of patterns. And this is the pattern that kind of stood out to me the most. I, I, I like this pattern the best. And of course, uh, the others that I'm going to share, share with you all in just a minute. So I actually love this dress. I had to order this online, of course, because there's no Target overseas. But Target gets here pretty quickly, so I'm glad that it got here in enough time for me to add this to my summer haul. So I love this dress. This is perfect for a great vacation. This is also just great for the summer in general. So I love the way it feels. It feels very good on. Um, it is the right size for me. It's not too big. It's not too small. This is a size large and it fits me perfectly. So I have to say that this is a very beautiful dress for the Tabitha Brown collection. And now I'm going to show you the other pieces that I got from her collection. And this is the second piece that I got from Tabitha Brown's Boutique. This is the green dress and um, it looks like it has, I don't know what this is, flowers? I guess it's, it's orange and pink flowers all over the dress. This dress is just a basic tank top dress so there's not really anything spectacular about the dress in that sense other than the very pretty print that is on it. The dress does come with pockets and this dress to me can pretty much be dressed up or whatever you can, I could do a lot of different things with this dress, adding a blazer to it, a belt to it or whatever to really change it up a bit. So this is a great, just basic dress that can go with pretty much anything. Um, it's very comfortable. This is a size large that I have on right now and it fits me great. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels and I just love this dress overall. So this is the second dress from Tabitha Brown's uh, collection from Target and this is a win for me. I like the dress before and I like this dress as well. And now I'm going to show you the last piece that I got from Tabitha Brown Boutique. Actually I'm showing you two more. The other one is not a dress. So uh, the other one's a pair of shorts and a headband that I purchased from the uh, Tabitha Brown collection as well. All right, so the last piece that I purchased from the Tabitha Brown Boutique as far as being able to wear is the shorts. It has the same pattern as the dress that I just uh, tried on. And uh, this actually went with a shirt. So there's a shirt that comes with it, but I'm not big on button up short sleeve shirts. So I didn't even get that. I just, yeah, that's just not my style. So I didn't purchase that, but I did like the shorts. I like that I felt like they were going to be long enough for me to wear to school if I wanted to wear them to school. So I really like that. It is a linen type of material. The one thing I don't like about it is even though it fits here, it's a lot of, bagginess right here in the front now i don't know if that's because i should have gotten a medium maybe i should have gotten a medium this is a size large there's a lot of room back here so i might have been able to get away with wearing a medium but i was a little leery uh because a lot of times when the shorts run in like small medium larges i always have to get a large it never fits me if i get a medium so i was just like okay let me be on the safe side um it's not like it's that noticeable but it's noticeable to me so like this is a lot of space in here in the crotch area which i absolutely hate um but being the type of shorts they are i don't think it's that big of a deal um it's not something that makes them look ugly per se it's just very annoying to me i don't like the way that looks but other than that it is a pretty pair a pretty comfortable pair of shorts uh great for the summer i just paired it with an orange shirt that i have right now i just wanted to put i had to put a shirt on can't come out here with my bra out uh so i just uh put on this uh orange shirt um it goes okay with it i think uh, uh but yeah because it's orange but you can probably put any type of color with it if you want to a yellow or something maybe a pink because it does have pink and orange flowers in it. So yeah, 
um these are the shorts from the tabitha brown collection from target so that is it that is the summer haul for you all everything that i purchased for this summer i purchased a lot more things but i really wanted to show you all the dresses that i got because those are the ones that i just felt like we just i had to show them to you all so i hope that you enjoyed this summer haul and if you have not supported the black owned businesses you need to go ahead and support them jay brooks boutique chloe ray i will have everything linked in the uh description box below also if you have not checked out the tab of the brown collection you need to do that so as well you probably be better getting some of that stuff online especially if it's not in your local target or if you don't want to have to drive two different targets to find her collection it's probably better to try to get it online but please keep in mind when I ordered, and I ordered the day that it came out, a lot of the stuff was already sold out. So you might come across that, that there might be a lot of the sizes that are that you wear that are sold out, but there's no harm in looking. I know for certain that she probably still has some jewelry left. I didn't get any jewelry from the Tabitha Brown collection because um, I have a lot of similar earrings like that already, so I didn't really want to add something to the collection that I already have. But again, if you have not checked out her collection, I will put that down in the description box below. It is an awesome collection with a lot of color. If you like patterns, if you like just something different, then you definitely need to check her collection out. All right, you all, I am Michelle Mizell. Thank you all for watching. Make sure that you like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Bye.